Good morning everyone and welcome to Ned's Tool Talk channel. In today's subject I think I'm gonna discuss um, air compressors. So there's a couple of different form factors of air compressors or even infl air inflators today in today's age. Uh, we did a review on a Milwaukee M12 air inflator. They have a M uh, an M18 air inflator. They also have an M12 air inflator that I used to have but sold up when I purchased a M18 one. Now that's a basic stuff for anyone. You got tools, it's on the go, you can take it with you on a road trip, camping, uh, off-road driving, anything. There is a different old style of let's say using air power tools. Um, having a just a standard big air compressor I have it tucked in right here in the corner and it's sitting on a <clears throat> on a hose reel that's always accessible to you 20 meter hose reel I love it but there's another option which you can probably see behind me all these tool companies in the last couple of years brought up these um, portable air compressors now can they match the big plug-in air compressor no really not not even close actually to be honest but these things are just amazing for what they are when you want to take it out on a site if you want to shoot a couple of nails with a <clears throat> with a nail gun framing gun or whatever um, if you haven't got an inflator you can pump up the tires it'll take a little bit longer in fact i just measured it just before i made a video and it takes from 0 psi to 120 psi where it's sitting right now it takes 1 minute and 12 seconds um, to inflate and that is on a 6 amp power battery so this little thing has a 3.8 liter tank it's heavy so there's no battery it's quite heavy it says 6.4 kilograms so count closer to 7 kilograms with 6 amp power battery you can use it with a smaller battery but I wouldn't recommend anything below 4 or 5 amp power 6 is preferable if you've got a 9 amp power like um, one of these you can do one of those I'll show you how it looks like so this is with a 6 amp power and 6 amp power, 4 amp power and 5 amp power batteries are pretty much the same size um, it's just a different capacity in cells so, and this is a 9 amp power it's fully charged so that's how it looks like and it's quite bulky on it and it's when you lift it it kind of pulls on that side so it's quite heavy with it um, <coughs> I'm gonna take it out and I'll put a 6 amp hour back in it so what does it do what are the specs and performances so first of all the model number is R18AC-O I'm talking about Australian model numbers this is from Bunnings in Australia this is 2021 manufactured, tank size 3.8 liters. It says free air delivery 16 liters a minute, maximum air delivery 49.5 liters a minute at zero bar tank pressure. Maximum operating pressure 8.7 bar or 120 psi. So it's gonna say also here to operate best performance is recommended to use a full amp power battery pack or larger batteries now again it takes 1 minute and 12 seconds with a 6 amp power battery to inflate from 0 to 120 psi it, when you buy it it comes just a unit itself with instruction manual no battery you get no hose no air guns no nothing connection for the hose is here I do have a flexible hose on it now I just I just unplugged the hose. Actually stopped. It had a little bit of an air leak from the from the connection. Now I do have this compressor for about a year and a half or so, year and a half to two, a bit less than two years. Uh, so it does maybe have a bit of a leak. What I also purchased from Bunnings when I bought this, just this small, inexpensive, flexible hose reel, hard to catch obviously. And this Ozito <laughs> air gun. This is this thing is absolutely tiny. It's ridiculous how small it is. Um, I just thought that big air gun might be a little bit silly looking on this small thing. It's almost bigger than this thing. You can even plug it in directly in a compressor. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so to plug in 
the holes. Everyone knows how to plug in the holes, I guess, nowadays. Maybe not me. There we go. <coughs> so, to, to operate it, there's an on-off off on on off switch it's off at the moment let's get some air out of it so it should turn on now I think it's below 90 pieces. So that was, it was just below 90 PSI, was, I'd say it was about 80, 80, 85 PSI, up to 128, probably what, 20, 25 seconds maybe, roughly I didn't, I didn't time it, but that's rough. So as soon as I think it gets below 90 PSI, so let's let some air out, I think as soon as it gets below 90 PSI, it starts the compressor back up to build, it, build the pressure again. So let's get a little bit closer look to it. In the middle, you're gonna have, I'll zoom in a bit. In the middle, you're gonna have a dial to adjust the pressure. And that's gonna be the adjusting the pressure in a compressor, yeah? Sorry, pressure that comes out on a gun. And you just push it, push it. So pull it out so you can spin it and adjust and push it, push it back in when you adjust to lock it. So the right side dial is gonna be the pressure that is on your gun. So the pressure that comes out. Left, left side dial is gonna be the pressure that is in the tank, which also shows the tank pressure, the gun pressure. And that's where you adjust the pressures. Show you the look from the back. Yeah, that's where the battery goes. And that's your on off switch right there, just a normal standard switch, nothing nothing special to it. And that's it says the weight there, it's got a big R for a Yobi and it's got nice rubber legs and it's also got a moisture release so you can release all the moisture from the tank which I don't know if it's gonna do because if you look at it the tank bottom is there, so this is about five millish, five-ish mil up. So it's not really gonna get everything out. So you might have to tip it all the way down once you start doing that. So I think a good idea now would be to we can deflate a tire on a Mazda a little bit and see how long it takes to inflate a tire back up to 38 psi. All right, so. Tire arm is deflated. I've just deflated the tire. Ah, turn this on. We are at 25.6 psi. I don't think this thing is much accurate, but I'm gonna be checking it with this. So it is. Okay.
that honestly took 20, 30, 30 seconds probably. It clicked on because it needed some more pressure, obviously because it's a, just a small tank. That was actually quicker than I thought, to be honest. It was actually definitely quicker than I ever thought it would be. Alright, so at the time of recording this, this is December 2023, so late 2023. This compressor costs $229 in Bunnings. $229 Australian dollars in Bunnings. It's in stock in majority of the stores. Um, Get yourself one if you like the video, no, not if you like the video, if you like the compressor, get yourself one, you won't regret it. It's not a lot of money if you're on a Ryobi 18 volt platform, it'll be a very handy tool. You can pump up the tires, you can dust out stuff, you can clean your vacuum cleaner, you can clean many things with it. I've taken my Dyson apart a million times, down to the guts how a factory assembled it. I did use the big compressor, but Sometimes when I'm out on some jobs, um, I take this one with me just to clean my tools because all my tools are spotless. I like to keep them clean, so I like to the grinders, hammer drills, SDS drills and stuff like that. I like to blow out all the dust from it after use. It just prolongs the, prolongs the life of the tool. Um, it's a good little unit. It's got multiple uses. It's portable. Um, yeah, it's not the fastest, but it's 229 versus some bigger brands you're looking at 500 ish dollars so it's well worth it and honestly for less than 400 dollars you can get a compressor and charger with a couple of batteries now at these christmas specials and stuff that's it guys if you like the video if you want me to continue with these things uh, like share subscribe and i'll see you in the next